going to go very fast and skip out all this because we are going to see these all things in detail. So what I am trying to uh, show you is what are all the different modules of, of SAP data services. That is what I am trying to show you. But definitely I am going to skip all these uh, slides which are not uh, going to be very much required at this time. So you have more things that you can do with uh, data services as your UTL tool. It has a metadata integration platform which can integrate with any business intelligence tools like most popular tool like business objects can be integrated with your ETL environment really easy. So that is one uh, uh, one easiest thing that uh, that is available in there. So SAP data services combines both batch and real time job. We will see in a bit what is a batch job and what is a real time job. When you see it, it makes more sense for you but here it is more of of definition wise I am trying to show you all we can uh, do while building a data warehouse. So uh, do not worry why am I going too fast on these slides is currently it is theoretical. But this is all what data services can do as a tool and today we are going to see each module in detail and I am also trying to log on to data services and show you how to start using it. So definitely whatever you are, uh, you are uh, looking at it in my current presentation, these are all the things that are possible with data services as your ETL tool. So you, it can do auto documentation, it can do publish dashboards, it can give you performance reports, everything. So auto documentation will make uh, the developer's life easier so that you can, uh, uh, you can leverage few things from the auto documentation module and put out into your template. At least you get the source table structure, target table structure and then the, the business logic you are using in a data flow. All that is possible. So you have the auto documentation and you do have the validation report. So you can create validation reports by functional area and uh, analyze them uh, saying this particular functional area uh, has loaded successfully and the, uh, which jobs has loaded it and is there any failures and is particular business rule taking too long to get executed all kind of validation reports you can you can do and uh, it can also provide you a data validation statistics uh, dashboard or or it can display you as for pictorial form of it so that is about data validation and you'd also see data quality reports which is very important it can uh, it can show you a list of uh, reports by job so uh, it can also show you uh, the USPS standards and say this is the uh, standard the USPS maintains and your data is not in so and so standard. So every day it can give you some report saying we had uh, 1 million customers this night that are being moved from source to target and one million out of 1 million customers I have 4 regions that I moved and in each region how much effort the data quality tools have put in there. It will try to give you saying there are 2000 addresses that were wrong which I, I, I fixed through the data quality tool. So that I mean when you are fixing too many things it is going to take a lot of time for the tool to do that. So, so you will analyze the actual base reason why is it happening in this particular uh, why is it happening so in this particular uh, uh, particular region the data is coming in a wrong way and you try to fix the source. So address validation, it will validate your address and say, okay, we have a problem every time in this particular address, so how to fix it in the source. It can do all this, uh, this, this thing. It can give you a summary of each and every, a, every a task that it is handling as part of data services. Now comes the important thing. Here is the developer thing that we are going to do. Distributed architecture. This is where I am going to spend a lot of time for you today in my next presentation. We are going to take up each and every part, whatever you are seeing here. You are seeing repository, designer, admin panel, and you are seeing job server, uh, access server, uh, real-time services, and you are seeing central repository, local repository. The next session, after a break, we are going to talk entirely today. The next two hours, we will have to understand each component of SAP distributed architecture that is where the developer has to put his uh, efforts to understand the rest of all the things are more like you need to have knowledge 
but this is where you need to get your hands dirty and then start using these modules only then you can become a developer so we are going to cover today about designer local repository central repository job server access server address server uh, we can we will also look into administrator or the central management console so anyhow the reality about data services i try to put down here how is it different from from many other tools in the market so while making a tool selection you can compare data services with the rest of the tools and uh, determine if this is the right tool for you or not so definitely i feel that that is a very sophisticated etl tool uh, which can do more than etl and so i believe this tool is going to be in market for long time and also you'll definitely have a lot of uh, i mean they definitely need plenty of resources to keep working on these uh, these etl jobs so here ends uh, the story about the high level view of sap data services and you need not worry about that i have covered it too fast you have a video sitting there online go and uh, look it on youtube training cloud where i have put it uh, in a better way and uh, it is the short and sweetest manner that i can uh, put in there so end of the show on data services just not etl so it is uh, 9 9:20 and i and i see krishna has joined let us say a hi to him and then we'll uh, proceed with the rest of the session krishna the late comer do you hear me krishna krishna do you hear me <laughs> 